So it turns out the family dynamic on this farm is going to be probably a lot more important here, considering how violent Thorgil is. He's a warrior and a, a classic Viking warrior. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jag the Bus, and today we continue Vinland Saga with an empty man. Now, there's a lot of pretty empty souls on this farm, I would say, but this is probably referring to, of course, Thorfinn, someone who I've literally described as empty several times through the season already because he is. Bro is broken, and it hurts me to see every single time. But I think over the course of getting to know Anar and learning about farming, he slowly started opening up a bit and, I don't know, maybe finding some purpose again, I hope. Gonna hop into this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. Red Sky. It's like his nightmares are becoming more vivid. Like, he, well, it was just like demons and stuff. Now he sees like actual families suffering. Oh, it's ain't oh, oh, it could have been him, but ain't or even said you pro it probably wasn't used. So like, let's just move on, but it could have been Mother. my God, ah, bro, falling in a nightmare like that. That's too real. Why does this seem like real life now? Wait, oh, yeah, this is still a nightmare. Wait, no, that's those like his actual hands. Like, they're all weathered. Did bro sleepwalk to this position? Oh, no, this is definitely still a nightmare. Yep, absolutely still a nightmare. Dude, his hair is so long. I guess he had it back in like a ponytail. Dude, he wakes up the same way every time. <laughs> Just another morning on the farm. Like I said, it's becoming more vivid. He usually doesn't. Oh, it's like let me tell you a story pal at this point i think it'd be fine if you told him about asquad and everything that happened and it would just strengthen their bond because he knows the worst of thorfinn thorfinn's literally been like i've killed so many people i don't even remember how many so i mean for him to open up i think it would help if anything and maybe even anar can offer some reassurance to an extent i don't know got a little piano in this show it's so pretty Aw, Anar, bro. Talking with her. Forgotten something important. His family? I don't know, man. Maybe he means more like a lesson that he learned that he's forgotten. Hmm. Something he learned from, like, Askeladd or his father. I mean, I don't think we even know what it is, though. What kind of progress are we making here on this farm? I want to see just a, a, just a completely cleared field for these two. Oh, they're just... Oh, they're getting jealous! Nope, they're just grinders. Mm -hmm. Anar's just a good farmer. Wait, he's actually jealous! Look at him! Nah, bro, there's no way they, like, screw them over or steal their wheat, right? Anar was a farmer. How? There's no way you're jealous of farm work. Bro, what? You didn't say this before. It's literally just because of how successful they've been. Oh my gosh. This guy's so weird. Even he's like, bro, come on. Oh no, they are going to do something, man. They're going to. Oh. Yes. Strong and cruel. I feel like the intro sequence is like part of Thorfinn's dreams because we see Askeladd in those and it's kind of similar. 11 years. See, he was with Askeladd longer than his father. He was like eight or nine in the village. Not really. But he never would have killed Askeladd. Look how close they are now. He's just telling them everything and he did just carry on. I love it. Brotherhood. After all this time, he still isn't. Like, how is he supposed to get over it? I think that's where he's stuck. It's unresolved. He's dead. Oh. I swear it's him being with family. Like, that's what he needs. Like, is it only going to take time? It's kind of what it seems. 
For now. Oh, I thought you said for now. I don't think he hates him, though. But I was going to say time, but like, it seems like it's gotten worse over time, if anything. He's going to tell Anar, yeah, he doesn't hate him. Mm -hmm. What's driving him? At least he can admit it out loud. I feel like that's... No. Some progress. That's why it kind of fills him with life whenever he starts to learn, I think. It's some purpose. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Bro, snap them out of it! Oh, gosh. I forgot his name already, but it's Svalt something. It's S-V-A-L something. It's a cool name. Oh, wait, what? What are they doing? Catching fish! I like that he took a liking to them, though. It's nice. Pathetic old man. Didn't catch a single one. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Nice. Almost like he's teaching them too, like for themselves. He's like training them, bro. Ah. So he's Catholic. <laughs> like this. <laughs> like this. Oh, it's beautiful. He heard him say, I'm empty. Damn! W mindset. <laughs> yeah, actually. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Keep going. Oh my gosh. CG trees. Oh, so we're getting near winter. <laughs> He's always in thought. <laughs> and how different he is now. <laughs> you know who did Gary next? Dorkel. Yeah, true, actually. Like, how different he already is. To an outsider's perspective. <laughs> I wouldn't have liked you. <laughs> And he doesn't even realize it yet. Oh my gosh. I wonder how often he sees him, like even awake. Aw, that's so sweet, bro. I can't. Oh no, they're fields. Oh no. No, bro. Oh my god. Oh no! Why is life so unfair? Things were so swell! These dickhead retainers, bro! I swear it was only one of them that even actually believed this too. And there's nothing they can do about it. It wouldn't have just like died like that. Yeah. It had to be purposefully trampled. Bro, Anar sounds scary. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna go mess him up, bro. Then you're done, so. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. There's no winning that. How boned they are. And then they can just mess it up again. I don't think he's capable of... He hasn't been angry the entire time we've seen him this season. He's just been empty. Just realizing that. Mm. Reynard's never destroyed. Oh, oh. Ugh. Is that Pater? All the crops. Oh, they 100% know. Mm -hmm. There's nobody else that would have had the grudge against them for it. At least we have Pater. I mean, we could be all alone. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She gets it. Aww. W. Pater. God, Thorfinn saying he would have to kill him a hundred times over. Ugh. 
Oh, he knows. Well, she told him. He knows that she's stuck here forever. There's no winning. Oh no. Oh no. They're gonna have to just stare him in the face and walk by. Oh no, ANR. Either that or ANR messes up really bad here. I feel like this is a big test for Thorfinn. What he says to ANR. Oh no, he's gonna make them go around him. They're literally just gonna do it again as soon as they gross anything. Oh. No! He wanted this. Oh, st oh my god, Dorfin, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Because he knows ANR is, is, it can be saved. He hasn't been like poisoned to an extent. Or it was just habit. Oh my god, he embodied him. Oh my. <laughs> Wait, they're gonna be in so much trouble. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, they're just going balls to the wall. They're actually gonna try to kill him. Oh no. What will Kessel do? <gasps> the first lady that took him in. That was her. That's her. Oh no. They literally can say that they were justified now. I don't think we've seen him see his yeah, his father. Down the pit. Wait, is this a nightmare? Wait, or is this because he's passing out from getting beat down? No, I think he actually passed out. <gasps> what? You're gonna make me guess? Oh my gosh. What an episode, bro. Oh my goodness. I knew they were gonna mess with their fields eventually, but I thought it was gonna be more like towards the end of the season. Like it was gonna be some climactic thing and they would have to go completely apocalypse mode, but it just happened now, maybe. I think it actually did happen. I don't think this is a fake out or anything. Unless the dream sequence started with like as they were walking down the road, but it honestly seemed too real. Like Thorfinn having the the sort of reflex to punch in front of, of, of Anar. And I thought he was doing it because he saw, like I said anr as like pure so like he would punch him and then be punished for everything so that anr could have a chance almost like Asklad giving his men that like gold band and like money and like saying you have a chance still like go on but no i think it was actually just a reflex and then anr just got in on it so i i don't know if this is real then the rest of the season changes completely because there's no way they can just be on this farm like without punishment they're going to be reprimanded either by being tried to be killed or just absolutely brutal, brutal, brutally beaten and then probably sent away i don't know either way things change from here on out if this is real but man anr is just a, a very short fuse but i think everything with arnhide has like maybe made that fuse a lot shorter because he realizes that he, she is stuck here i don't know it's brutal man that was a tough episode but guys that's been it for my reaction to an empty man that one almost got me i started i got choked up him asking if he can be reborn this season is rough already drop a like on this one i'll see you next time Peace, peace.